tubers. So I'm here, I just started taking apart my Breitling. This is the Breitling B2. The reason why I'm taking this apart is because recently it just, if you noticed here, my reset pusher, it doesn't pop back out. And this is the start. And when you push the start, it actually resets on on its own. And then you stop the watch and then you can reset it, but the button doesn't pop back out. I'm not 100% sure if it's the spring inside that pushes on the pusher or if it's just dirty and plugged with dirt. So I've, been, I've had this watch for a really long time and it's been my beater watch for some time. Um, I've just taken the case back off using my uh, removal tool here and I've proceeded to take off one screw, which is, which is what holds, there's three of them with a locking cam or a pressure cam that's holding on to the movement here. So, I'm going to attempt to repair this. <laughs> I've never done this before. So, um, any of you guys see me doing something wrong, um, please feel free to comment so that I can learn more about uh, watch repairs and um, watch making. The only, the extent of my watch making or watch repair work is putting the strap, taking the strap on and off. And that would be the absolute extent of my watchmaking prowess. Um, so from what I understand, I'm supposed to push on this little thing right here. Let me see if I can find the right tool here. Um, let me put on some reading glasses because my nearsighted vision is not very good right now anymore and I need some help in seeing what I things that are small or close up now it doesn't seem like I have a tool sharp enough I would think that would be it. And it looks like there's a small button right in there that allows you to move Or remove the dial. I mean the uh, the crown. Again. Oh, got it! It worked. Yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. All right. Now, um, I haven't got one of those padded thingamajiggies. So I'm going to just put it reversely on my, and that should pop out the movement. Oh, I see. Oh, dang, guys, I it is out. Okay, so, uh, and sure enough, look at that. It is a sticky, sticky, proposition and so is and this is definitely more sticky than the other so um and you see that gear train right in there which allows the slide bezel a slide rule to move back and forth so um now how do i or how will i get this clean enough 
so that I don't have to mess with it. Now, I don't want to run water through it, really. Um, and it looks like there's a couple of screws um, that hold on to the mechanism there. So, what I'm going to do is check to see if that is the case. There's a couple little slotted ends on the pusher on the inside. So maybe if I just loosen this, the pusher will come out. Of course, it is only an assumption and I'm not sure if that is actually what I need to do. Can't get anything sharp enough in there, all the way inside there. Um, I'm going to check for another, another screwdriver. I do want to be extra careful because I don't want to scratch my sapphire glass from the inside. Hmm. You know, now I'm starting to think, uh, I don't want to do that either. I thought maybe if I stuck this inside a, um, inside a, um, what do you call it? One of those, um, cleaning baths. Um, but I've got uh, the slide rule bezel on the inside here. I'm afraid that um, any kind of solvent of any sort will possibly degrade the, the letters and the markings and everything else. So I am quite afraid to try and service this. Um, I wonder why I can't get this to turn. Um, yeah, I can't get it to turn very well. I don't know exactly what to do at this point. Um, okay, so um, I'll post another video. Uh, it's gonna take me a little time to try and get this, to understand what I can do to get this removed. So I will post a secondary video of a of this particular thingamajiggy I'm doing here, and um, we'll post a second. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to try and get this cleaned up without being being actually i'm gonna try one more thing it looks like they may be the same sizes but we do want to keep these completely separate so I don't get the screws mixed up. I've got one, two, three, four of them, it looks like. Because the rotating bezel is kind of, it does kind of stick as well. It's not as um, smooth and fluid as it should be. It's very stiff. So we're gonna attempt to remove this piece as well. Making sure that it's nice and lined up somewhat. Nope, oh, there goes the O-ring. I was thinking about how I was going to get that out, but that came out automatically as it was rubbing around with my fingers. Okay.
So we've got four screws that hold the bezel in place, it looks like, and voila. Okay, you can see all kinds of dirt inside there, um, which is probably why it was occasionally sticking. Mm. Not sure how this is held in place. Hmm. That does create another problem for me here. Um, I wish I could just dunk this into my ultrasonic cleaner and have no problems, but I'm just afraid of any kind of markings going on to this area here, I may have to, um, and I'm not 100% sure whether that's even going to take care of the linkage in here. I'm pretty sure it looks to me like it's supposed to, you're supposed to try and somehow remove this as a screw, screwed in to, oh, it's turning. It's turning. Oh, shoot. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Okay. It is turning. But I do want to be extra careful here not to damage the sapphire glass. or anything else that, for that matter. Well, it was turning. Doesn't want to turn anymore. And I've broken the tip off of that screwdriver. That's not good. Oh, what a bummer. That's one of my favorite screwdrivers. does not really want to turn very well. <sighs> I don't think that's how I'm supposed to do it. Well, do you know what I mean? That one seems to be okay. It seems to run pretty, pretty smoothly. So, it's got to be inset with a series of O rings and things like that. So, um, Anybody who knows how to who knows what they're doing with this, um, maybe you can give me a um, heads up on how I'm supposed to take care of this little issue of trying to get these pushers disassembled. Um, Hmm. 
I'm pretty sure that there it is spring activated. Just can't tell how I can deactivate it. Okay. So um, maybe you can tell me, somebody can chime in on how the spring system mechanism or anything works in this area. Then I can try and um, get that off of there and then clean the inside. Maybe I can just run it through and through the ultrasonic cleaner. And um, if I can, that'd be great. But I'm not sure if I can do that or not. Um, if you guys, if somebody can shed some light on this, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks.